guys and welcome back today's video is going to be about how to tie a method feeder summer's coming up um, a lot of people are choosing to go on the feeder and chuck out a method and now a lot of you beginners might be wondering how do you tie one of these i want to catch a lot of carp this summer well to this bit it's just going to be about how to tie one so yeah let's just get right into it so first you're going to need your main line off your reel so once you've threaded it through your rod you're left with some main line with your tag end, well, just your end of your main line. I'm using Daiwa sensor braid, um, just Daiwa sensor. Um, so yeah. And then what you wanna do is you wanna grab your method feeder of choice. This is a Drenum uh, flat feeder, 35 gram. Um, you wanna pull the sleeve off it and you just wanna thread that through the end of your line. Sometimes it can be a bit tricky to get in there. Like so. So you've now got the sleeve of your method feeder on your main line. Now what you want to do is put the actual feeder on. So on these Drenum ones, there's a little um, gap in the bottom that you can just push through. You just want to slide that in there. And just push it in like that. And by the end of it, you should see some line coming out the end there. Let's pull that. And then you, what you can do is pull that line tight. And just push the sleeve on. So you've got your method feeder. Now what to do next. Now what you can do, this is what I choose to do. Some people put a swivel on. Um, if you want to go old school. But I like to change my hook lengths. If I want to use a hair or a bandum. I'll um, put a quick change bead on, so that's a quick change bead there. Um, the cost about two quid, and you can get ten of them. That's it there. And what you want to do is just pull the rubber sleeve off, like like so. So you're left with the top and the bottom, your rubberized bit. Now, first off, kind of like the method feeder, the slip the rod the rubber bit, the sleeve of it through the line so you're left with like that. Push it up against your method feeder so it's like that. Then what you want to do is tie a blood knot or a double blood knot on to your quick change bead. So you just thread it through, thread it through again. This is what I like to do. Then wrap it around your line a few times. I can do that. Mm -hmm. Seven times is usually what I go for. Push it back through the loop at the start, and then you want to lick your line. It stops it from uh, melting together, so it don't weaken the line. And you just want to pull it. So you're left with this is a poor one, but you're left with like a little wrap round your line, kind of like that. Some like that. Just pull as hard as you can to make sure it don't come off. Right, so you should be left with something, just like a, a few rings around your line. And then you want to, what you want to do is you want to get that, get your scissors, cut that tag end off, and you should be good to go. Now, um, so you've got your your. Um, feeder there you've got your what they call it quick change bead there and you've got your little quick change bead there now first off before you close them together you want to get the hook of choice now I'm gonna be using a bandum so I'll get out my little thing now I'll just slide up a bandum do that fairly easy to do this 
So you got your little hooker choice there, or your band them on. Um, and then what you want to do is you want to grab your quick change bead, and you just want to push it in and slide it up, kind of like a pole. Pull, pull that um, other end of the quick change bead down and push it over the top of the actual part. So you're left with like that. That's the main part of the method feeder. Simple, easy way, catch us loads of fish. Um, so yeah, I'm going to move on to bait now on how to put bait on a bandoom. So I've just gone to get some of my um, bait of choice now for the video. I've gone for some Ringer's Yellow Wafters. Um, easy to see. That's the main reason, and also they're a great bait. So you wanna grab a ringers, like so. Um, the reason I love this bait is because it just looks like corn and it smells ace and the carp just munch it up. Perfect for method. And then what you wanna do, is you've got your hook there with your bandum. And what you can do sometimes, you might need a, uh, I think they're called pellet wagglers. Um, I'm actually just going to use some scissors, anything that can just pry open that band. you got to be careful using scissors though, that's why pellet wagglers, not pellet wagglers, um, I, I forgot what they're called, they're like little things, I'm pretty sure bait tech does them. Um, I'll put a picture up of them on screen now. Um, there's something... Um, to push open that and just slide it on. I'm actually struggling to do this at the moment, so I'll cut when I have done it. Okay, so once you put it on, you're ready to rock and roll. Um, now, that's pretty much how to fish a method feeder. Um, all you need to do from now, which will probably be the next video, or I'll do a video on it on the how to make ground bait or uh, micros, one of the two of them um, so yeah that's been how to make a method feeder um, for you guys that are just starting off great way um, to get carp fishing I know loads of people start off with a feeder and I, d I can see why because it's just a great way to start fishing because you catch absolutely loads of them in summer um, now, for making the bait, you just make ground bait, and you can use a, a method mould. But what I like to do, because I ain't got my method mould at the moment, is I just get a bowl, of, a bowl of it, squish it on like that, and there'll be like a big round patch over it, and then you just stu uh, like shove your hook bait in, and it'll just sit on surface. Anyway, that's been how to tie a method feeder on to the line really hope you guys have enjoyed just a short little video i haven't made a video in ages and i just thought um you know summer's coming up why not make a little informational video as i think they're what do the best on my channel what bait i use and um, what lures to use and all that lot so hopefully you guys enjoy this one anyway i've been fishing frenzy like subscribe comment you know all that lot you know um yeah anyway i've been fishing friends you like subscribe and remember to keep on casting